Here at the University of West London, we provide industry standard facilities, great industry links and excellent employment opportunities so that our students can go on to have successful and rewarding careers. We've invested more than £150 million in our campus recently to create an inspiring social and learning environment for our students. But we know all this great work will be for nothing unless we do our bit to tackle climate change. We've been taking a leading role in our community to tackle the global climate crisis. And last year, we reduced our carbon emissions by 60% compared to 2005. Recently, the university declared a climate emergency and pledged to become a zero net carbon institution by 2030. A big step to meeting this pledge has been our decarbonisation programme that has seen the university harness the latest renewable technology to create our own energy and introduced energy saving measures across the campus. Backed by more than £5 million of government funding, the project is the largest of its kind in the higher education sector and really underlines our ambition to be one of the most sustainable universities in the UK. This has been a fantastic project to be part of. Ameresco worked closely with our subcontractors and the University of West London to secure government funding for the project through the Public Sector Decarbonisation Scheme. After demonstrating a high-level estimate of the costs and carbon savings it could achieve, the project received a £5 million of grant in November 2020 and the implementation period began the following April. Of course, it hasn't been without its challenges, not least because the site remained live throughout the process. The first and main challenge was to design a ground source heat pump system for the university without touching the main car park of the campus to reduce impact on students. This is what led us to propose a combined ground source heat pump system working with boreholes and PVT panels. These PVT panels, which allow us to produce electricity and heat for the heat pump to operate, allowed us to reduce the number of boreholes across the campus and leave the main car park of the university untouched. It is expected that the project will save over 500 tonnes of carbon per year and over 9,400 tonnes across the equipment's lifetime. The local area will also benefit from improved air quality as a result of the move away from fossil fuel heating to a clean, low-carbon solution. The installation at the University of West London, to my knowledge, will be the largest PVT system to be installed in Europe and will act as a collector system for 15 NEBI ground source heat pumps. The scheme will be utilising the available space for an innovative design which incorporates 584 PVT panels in combination with 34 169 metre boreholes. That will provide 900 kilowatts of heating and hot water throughout the campus. The design system will not only supply 222 kilowatts of PV electricity generation, but will crucially act as a collector system for the NEBI ground source heat pumps being installed, capturing naturally occurring energy in the air to drive the heat pump process silently. It's fantastic to be able to see a project of this scale come to life and we hope to see more developments like this over the coming years. With the government clearly recognising the role heat pumps will play in meeting the UK's net zero aspirations, projects such as this will only help to support the greater uptake and demonstrate the wider variety of applications for heat pumps. This project really highlights the benefit of combining multiple technologies to deliver efficient, low-carbon solutions. JKN were commissioned to install the system you can see here today. It was a complex project with many constraints which required an innovative approach. We could have potentially delivered the full capacity using boreholes, but this would have caused a lot of disruption. 
despite being a cheaper option, it was not practical for the site. We were able to provide a holistic solution which included solar PVT to provide approximately 50% of the ground source heat pump collectors, minimising campus disruption. The extra PV power delivers 19% of the electricity needed in spring, summer and autumn for the heating and hot water, saving the university energy. This means that the system is net carbon for this period and more cost effective than the 3 megawatt gas system previously installed. This solution will save the same carbon emissions as over 4,000 trees per year. We have also designed the system to provide additional comfort in the summer via passive cooling, which could increase efficiencies and deliver further carbon savings. Due to the complexities of the site and logistics of delivering this innovative solution, Jake Cairns suggested an off-site build, further reducing disruption across the campus and to visitors whilst also minimising the risk to the project. The unique pre-packaged solution allowed us to deliver the off-site pre-built PVT and plant room modules on time despite being delivered throughout the COVID pandemic. We know there is still much more to do and on the back of this project we are working with our staff, students and partners to take the steps that will enable our university to go green.